Okay, shall we start? Yeah. Okay, I, today's lecture will <laughs> will concern ourselves with diabetes. Okay, I unfortunately dog and cat diabetes in dogs and cats is a fairly common occurrence in, in today's in, in the practice of veterinary medicine today. So we are going to demonstrate how easy it is to to deliver insulin. This is Sweetie, one of our clinic cats. She's quite elderly and she has been a diagnosed diabetic for almost a year now. Fortunately, we've been able to, to control her pretty well. Uh, her symptoms have largely subsided and, she, and she's, a, she's a very happy kitty, basically. Kathy is gonna, gonna show everyone how to actually do it. I'd like to talk a little bit about how, how we prepare the, the syringe and the insulin, getting it ready. The insulin, of course, is a very fragile substance. Uh, it has to be refrigerated. It, you, you must always be careful not to shake it up too much. You can actually damage the insulin molecule. Uh, and also you might introduce tiny little bubbles into the, into the shot, which may affect the dosage. But outside of that, it's not difficult. The syringes come, in, in most cases, will come pre-packaged. The, uh, the, 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 the concentration of the strength of the insulin is generally for cats and dogs, uh, it's generally 40 units per milliliter, which matches up with these syringes. There are many, many different types of syringes, uh, as there are many different types of insulin. You're, uh, we prefer this because it's easier to dose with. The, again, the syringe matches the insulin. So, with the insulins come out of the refrigerator, and instead of shaking it up, because it's a suspension, we want it to mix it evenly, but what we're going to do is just roll it in our hands for 10 or 15 seconds or so, and just kind of invert the, the bottle just a little bit, very, very gently. The syringe has been taken out from the package here. This also has a nice little disposal thing for when you're over, for when you're, you're done uh, delivering the medication. So. You pull this tip off, of course it has a little plunger in the end, take the tip off, it's an extremely fine needle, it's not much thicker than, than, than an actual hair, so cats and dogs, they, they hardly even feel it at all when it's, when it's placed underneath the skin. So what we're going to do is draw out an appropriate amount, now that we've mixed it up a little bit, Sweetie has been getting three units of this U40 insulin. So we are going to equalize the pressure between the outside air and inside the bottle by injecting three units. Dave, if you can, put, if you can catch that, okay, down to the number three, we're going to put three units of air in there so the pressure will be equal as we withdraw three units of insulin. Sometimes there will be a little bubble in it and just like the doctors do on TV, you can kind of tap it a little bit like that. If you get an air bubble, you take out a little bit of extra and push that air bubble back in, okay? And then we are going to recap our needle. This is very much a discouraged practice in human medicine because they're worried very much about hepatitis and AIDS transmission as well as a few other things too. Uh, obviously with animals, we're not, we're not concerned about that. So we've got Sweetie's shot ready to go. It's just three little units of U40 insulin. And what Catherine's going to do is tint up an area of loose skin, of which kitties have a lot of, as do dogs, but cats especially, right over her, right in between her shoulder blades right here. Yes. Kathy's right-handed, so she's going to use <clears throat> her right hand to direct the syringe and her left hand to actually pull up the skin. So she's going to make a little tent there. Sweetie's real cool about this. She just puts it in there, injects it, and takes it out and rubs it in a little bit. And then, because Sweetie's such a good puss, we normally give her a little treat. Do you have anything for her, Kat? Um, Patty, do you have some treats for her? This will almost always make it easier for your dog and cat to, to get his or her insulin. If you, if you accompany it with a little bit of petting, and Sweetie, of course, is very, very used to this. And she normally does get it. You've got some treats handy for her. We'll, of course, talk to you what treats might be appropriate for for cats and dogs that are diabetic to have. But, but that's it in a nutshell. Uh, there's really not much to it. This shouldn't scare any owner away from, from delivering this. Uh, uh, 
we, we of course are here to help you and teach you and, and as many times as we possibly can until until you become confident in it and you become an expert in it. We'll make a not quite a vet tech out of you, but we'll make you make you a, a, a definite manager in, in, in managing your cats and dogs' diabetes. And to get rid of the empty syringe, you simply place it in here, turn it, it goes into a trash barrel there. When the thing is full, you just simply throw it in the trash. Merry Christmas from all of us at Crestway Animal Clinic and the fattest cat in Texas, Charlie. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.